Good evening, YouTube. This is a video response to what Mr. DPR Jones had just put out about um, this needs debunking. Uh, I'm going to have to do this as a two-parter. Um, reason for it is there, there's two situations that I'm seeing here. And one of it, one of them, he, uh, the clown in question here, asks about um, the origin of reproductive uh, systems in animals um, and sex and what have you. I'm going to do that one, but not yet. The other part of this is interesting. You see, the thing is, is that this guy in, in, in the video that DPR put out is the very essence of uh, religious ignorance. Um, he defines it so well. Uh, I mean, th this guy openly uh, admits that it does not matter what kind of proof that you put in front of him. He chooses not to believe it. And that's it's very interesting the way he puts this stuff because I run into this a lot. That they'll choose not to believe it. So evidence is irrelevant when it comes to these uh, people who are, are sucked into their faith so deeply. But he did say in there something to the effect of if he believes in something strong enough, it's true enough to him and that's all he needs. So should this video ever get back to the original author, so to speak, I would say this. Do you think you can have enough faith to believe that you don't need air? to breathe and to need food to eat that you'll actually your your faith will keep you going I mean you said that no proof is enough for anything for you to believe so why don't you stick your head in a bucket of water and see if you can live more than 10 minutes I mean according to you your faith is strong enough you'll get right through it with no issues According to you, you might as well be able to live underwater without any kind of outside uh, sources to assist you in surviving. According to you, your faith could be that strong that no evidence to the contrary would be strong enough to, to change anything. That you'd be able to do it just because your faith is strong enough. But I would say that you're actually, you would have doubt that your faith would be strong enough, and you wouldn't try to actually go underwater without any kind of assistance and stay there. That you wouldn't go forever without eating or drinking and, and, and claim that your faith would be strong enough to keep you alive. So I would say that your faith isn't as deep as you think it is. Something to consider. Um, I gotta look some things up, some notes I've had from something else about uh, uh, origin of sexual reproductive, uh, <laughs> the evolution of sexual reproductive organs um, to go to the first part of what this clown was talking about. Um, some information that I had found that was quite interesting. Um, DPR Jones, interesting challenge with this. Uh, there's only bits and pieces you can do with this guy. And one of the things I like about the way that you put this guy out there was that he, he definitely, he, <laughs> he really shows the stubbornness and the ignorance in light of evidence of deeply religious minded people. This is the poster child for it. This guy is above even, um, Venom Fang X in his, I mean, this, he actually refuses and states that no evidence you can show him beyond any reasonable doubt would convince him otherwise because he chooses not to believe the actual evidence. And so in my mind, that even puts, that he's way above, um, even though I've only seen the one video, he's way above anything that I saw uh, <laughs> uh, PCS do. Anyway, uh, let it go with that. Get the information for my other stuff, and I'm going to post a second video response to what you had put out for the challenge. All right. See you guys in a bit.